Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Stars reflect off heaven's hem as Shabbat enters quietly. Other, over, away, all week, Shabbat is the fruit of six days' imaginings, hushed and soft, with tender smile. Shabbat greets us as we raise our cups. Shabbat perches upon the rim and nods as we bless and praise and remember. Come again to us, gracious host. Fill our hearts with peace. Come sing with us, sweet singer. We will fill our mouths with praise. Surround us with Shabbat's beauty, all time in a day. Surround us with the faces of our dear ones, now and then and still to be. Come again to us, gracious host. Come again as Shabbat is seated at our table. Come sing with us, sweet singer, as Shabbat fills this place with peace. Take a moment, please. Greet the person next to you, behind you, beside you, and introduce yourself. Wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Please be sure to uh, to join us in prayer wherever and whenever you feel so inclined, in the Hebrew, in the English, in the, transliter- in the transliteration, in the translation, with a yai la la lai, with a shoulder sway, with a hand tap, with a foot tap, however you pray, however your body, with snapping, however your body prays, however your heart best prays, this is the place uh, that we hope you will find welcoming and, and, and eager to receive your prayer. Our service begins on page 121. With candle lighting, we invite Bob and Joyce Herman to join us, page 121. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter the sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Kedeshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivan L'had L'adir Shal Shabbat Blessed are you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. 
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotam, v'tzivanu le'halikner, le'halikner shel Page 123, as all who are able to rise, join us for Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Borei peri ha'gafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kitshan b'mitzvot ha'v'ratzah b'anu V'shabad kancho b'yahava u'ratzon hinkilanu Zikharon b'masei v'reshi Ki hu yom tehila l'mikrae kodesh Zecher l'tziyat Mitzrayim, ki vanu v'acharta, ve'otanu kidashta, mikomim, v'shabat kashcha, ve'ahava u'vratzon, hinchaltanu. Baruch atah Adonai, Mikadish HaShabbat. Amen. And please be seated. Come, let us continue page 127. Let's continue praying responsively. Page 127, there are days when we seek things for ourselves and measure failure by what we do not gain. On Shabbat, we seek not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature as if it were a horn of plenty that can never be exhausted. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we act as if we cared nothing for the rights of others. On Shabbat, we remember that justice is our duty and a better world our goal. So we embrace Shabbat, day of rest, day of wonder, day of peace. Shevet achim gam yachad, hine ma tov, hine ma tov. Ya la 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 la, hine ma tov, hine ma tov. Ya la 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 la, hine ma tov u manayim. Shevet achim gam yachad, hine ma tov u manayim. Shevet achim gam yachad Hine ma tov u manayim 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 Hine ma tov u manayim, Hine ma tov u manayim, Shevet achim gam yachad, Hine ma tov u manayim, Shevet achim gam yachad. It is such a nice segue to go from how good and how pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to sweat, to sit and to dwell together to the active going out, the actionable going out and meeting the Sabbath bride as we are greeted in return. As we turn to page 138 for the singing of Lecha Dodi, we sing verses 
1, 2, 5, and 9. At 9, verse 9, we each of us who are able, we stand, we turn to the back door, and we symbolically greet the Sabbath bride. Lechadodi li kratzkala, p'nei Shabbat li kabla. Lechadodi li kratzkala, p'nei Shabbat li kabla. Lechadodi, lechadodi li kratzkala, p'nei Shabbat li kabla. Lechadudi likrat kala, p'nei Shabbat nikabela. Shahamur v'zachur b'dibur echad, hishmianu el hamichad. Adonai echad u'shemo echad, l'shemu l'tiferet l'tila. Lechadudi. Lechad <laughs> So <laughs> Kiva rech kumi ori, uri uri shir da beri, kevo darnay alayich nehigla. Lecha dodi, lecha dodi likrat kala, p'nei shabad nikabela. Lecha dodi likrat kala, Shabbat <laughs> Please be seated. Page 145 is where we continue. Teach me, O oh God, a blessing, a prayer, on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew your days. Lest my day be today as the one before, lest routine set my ways. Yitgadal v'yitgada shamei rabba Yalma divrach yirute v'am lich malchute v'chaye chon uv'yom echon uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael v'agala v'agala uv'izman karib v'imeru amen yehei shmei rabba mevorach Le'alamulal 
Vid par, vid roman, vid nasce, vid adar, vid ale, vid alal, jamais de coup de chabri hu, le elam in kolbir hata, vishirata, tu shpechata, vnechemata, dami hiran bilma, vimeru. We move now to our call to worship the Bar Hu. This has, we know, been just but a warm up as we are getting started in our prayer. We invite you, please, those who are able to rise as we turn to page 146. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher B'divaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bahochma Poteach She'arim, Uvitfuna Mishane Itim, Machalif Et Hazmanim, Umisader Et HaKochavim Bamish Maroteim Barakia Kirtsono, Bore Yom Valaila, Golel Or Mipne Choshech, Bahoshech Mipne Or. Uma avir yom ume vi laila, uma avdil ben yom ube laila, Adonai sevaot shemo. El chai vikayam, tamid yimloch alenu leolam va ed, Baruch ata Adonai, hama arib aravim. Everlasting love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Please be seated. The Avta Eit Adonai Elohecha, the Hol of Avcha, the Hol of Shecha, the Hol Meodecha, the Ayu Advarim Haele, Asher Anohi Mitzavcha. Hayom al-Levavecha, Vishinantam Levanecha, Vidibarta Bam, Vishivtecha Babetecha, Uvlechtecha Baderech, Ushachbecha Uvkumecha, Ukshartam Leot al Yadecha, Vayul Totafot Bein Enecha. Uchtav tam, 
Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Mahu <laughs> The Ne'emar Kifada Adonai et Yaakov, Gaalo Miyad Chazak Mimenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Gaal Yisrael. Give us a place to rest, Adonai, our God. Bring us into shelter in the soft, long evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, Be'al Kol Amo Yisrael, Be'al Yerushalayim. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael, Et ha-shabbat, et ha-shabbat, La'asot, et ha-shabbat, L'dorotam, b'rit olam, V'ni u'vei b'nei Yisrael, O'ti le'olam, B'ni Sheshet yamim asa Adonai Et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz U-vayom ha-shri Shabbat We turn now to page 164 as we rise for our tefillah, being mindful of that for which we are grateful this week. Page 164. Adonai, 
Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohe amoteinu v'yimoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibur Bahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim. Bekone ha'kol, v'zocher ha'sei abot v'yimahot, u'mevi ge'ula l'ivnei v'neihem, l'ma'an shemo v'yahava. Melech ozer u'moshiach u'magain, baruch ata Adonai, magain Abraham v'ezrat sarah. Ata gibur le'olam Adonai, mechaye ha'kol ata, rav lo shia, mohorid ha'tal. Mechalkel chayim b'chesed, mechaye ha'kol b'rachamim rabim, somech noflim v'rafech olim, u'matir asurim. Umekayem emunato lishenei afar Michamocha bal gilurot umido melach Melech mevit umekayem umatzmiach yeshua Veneeman ata lahachayot hakol Baruch ata Adonai Please be seated. We continue at the top of page 173 together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh HaShabbat. Ratzei Adonai Eloheinu, Be'amcha Yisrael, Utfilatam Be'ahava Tikabel, Utihi le ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael amecha. Baruch ata Adonai, sh'otcha levadcha bira na'avor. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us. For all these things, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha, Lacha Nae Lahodot. Shalom Rava Israel Amcha, Tasim Leolam. Shalom Rava Israel Amcha, Tasim Leolam. Shalom Rava Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rava Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam V'tov Be'nech Al'varech 
את עמך ישראל בכל עת ובכל שעה בשלומך שלום רב ישראל עמך תשים לעולם שלום רב ישראל עמך תשים לעולם תשים לעולם תשים לעולם We take some time now in silence, in prayer in reflection, in meditation. Le-ra-tson im-re-fi Ve-hegion li-bi Le-fanecha Adonai Tzuri Ve-go-ali of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my Our thoughts turn now to those in our community, those in our lives, our workplaces, our neighborhoods, our schools, our families, in our friend groups who are suffering, those whose bodies are ailing, those whose spirits are tender, those who have nobody to pray for, their health, their courage, their strength to endure that which they face. We say, Mishaberach Avotenu, Vimotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Vayakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Valea, Huyivarech, Et Acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and give strength to those who are ill. This evening we are holding in prayer Jim Buran, Yehuda Leib, Ben Yitzchak, Shana Esther, Bat Rochel, Florence Sporn, Robert Oster, Nancy Bierenbaum, Olga Buzo, George Kavagian, Scott Rosenfeld, Alexander Shadunsky, Tally Beckwith-Cone, Robert Sand, Lois Bissett, 
and Gail Bynas. If there are others who are in need of prayers for healing, for wholeness, for strength, for courage, please, as I look your way, would you share that name aloud or hold that person in your prayer as well? May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored, for their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them renewal of body and spirit, strength of courage, companionship, good care, and together we say amen. Please join us on page 371 as we share the Mishaberach together. Mishaberach Avoteinu Mekor Abracha Limoteinu May the source of strength Who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage To make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi sheberach imoteinu mekor habracha lavoteinu bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen, and let us say Amen. Did you see the eclipse this week? Just give us a show of hands if you saw the eclipse, not looking directly at it, but saw, saw, saw some of the eclipse. So even though Rochester only, here in Rochester, only 70% we know of the sun was covered by the moon, it really, it was quite breathtaking, don't you think? It was something to behold, even if the last time you saw it was in 1979, I think, right? That was the last one before, before now. But maybe you missed it for whatever the reason, or maybe there was too much cloud coverage where you were, or maybe 70%, the little kind of crescent of the moon shape that some of us were blessed to see, didn't quite impress you. But not to worry, as we know, in just seven short years, we next witness the eclipse, and where will that be? Yes, sell your tickets to your lawn right now, right? We know. I, have a, I, I was saying to, to somebody else, I have a friend who's already posted an event on Facebook, right? Uh, that, for, you know, that you should come back in seven years. So April 8th, 2024 is the path of totality. We'll be right here in our very own Rochester. But if we stop to think just for a minute about the probability of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun all being in just the right alignment for the moon to obscure the sun, it's a pretty remarkable event, no matter when it comes or where geographically we find it. That is, if we stop to think about it. So today is the third of the month, actually now we are at the fourth of the Hebrew month of Elul. Elul is the month which precedes the Hebrew month of Tishrei, where we find our high holy days. Elul is also the month where we are supposed to stop and think about it. It is when we are supposed to focus on bringing our head, our heart, and our neshama, our soul, into alignment, or the sphere of our own inner cosmos into alignment, as Rabbi Yael Spolansky suggests. 
So I'm sure you have seen no shortage, as I have seen no shortage, of celestial references this week and all kinds of astrological puns and memes, and the, the list has been endless, both secular and religious. So I will share one, not funny, but one more that Rabbi Andrea Weiss teaches, that the month of Elul actually serves as a special transitional moment, she writes, reflecting the traditional image of what is said in Hebrew, bain hashamashot, between the suns, literally, that's what it means, suggesting that Elul, the Hebrew month that we, now, that we are uh, now in, which usually falls late August or the beginning of September, is a bridge between summer and fall, as our weather tonight suggests. Between long sunny days and crisp afternoons full of color and wind, she writes, between who we are and what we want to be, between regret and repentance, guilt and renewal, between the frustration of accepted patterns and the promise to change. So, my high holiday buddies, in a little under four weeks, we will begin the high holy days, giving us a significant amount of time to notice where or how we are out of alignment to consider what it means how we might get ourselves back into alignment or what being realigned will ultimately allow us to do or perhaps to do better. So, number one, we are out of alignment is the argument. Just like our cars where regular wear and tear can throw things off, we know, so too can an accident. In either case, we would repair the problem to ensure safe travels. For us as people, whether it's regular wear and tear, in the form of work or family and day-to-day -day busyness, or something unexpected, or something, God forbid, traumatic, like an illness, or terrible loss, or mistakes, or failure, or fear, or, or the profoundly worrisome state of relations and aggression in our country, Many of us feel deeply out of alignment, myself included. So the question becomes, how do, we, how do we repair the problem and how do we get ourselves back into alignment? So Judaism offers us a threefold approach, just briefly, I will tell you. The first we know, and you hear this theme at the High Holy Days, is teshuva, repentance. The second is tefillah, or prayer. And the third is tzedakah, righteous living and giving and justice. So the medieval philosopher Maimonides describes the work of, of teshuva, of repentance, with three R's. For those of you who have studied, you probably know these three R's before his, his concept, regret, rejection, and resolution. Regret, rejection, and resolution. This is his approach to making repentance feeling sorry for what we did and trying to make an earnest amends for the wrongdoing, rejecting, doing things or responding in the same way that we have in the past. If we are faced with that situation again, would we do it differently? Would we reject the way we did it this past time? And finally, Maimonides teaches us that we should commit ourselves to working towards fuller compassion, fuller resolution of the matter through deeper understanding and compromise. So we head into this new year and we also explore tefillah, prayer, and what it can offer. And I know that I am preaching to the converted because here you sit tonight, but many of us struggle to find a foothold in prayer. Many of us find it challenging. Many of us find the words, whether Hebrew or English, the choreography, the music, foreign. And the questions become, how do we pray? For what do we pray? When do we pray? And what's frustrating about prayer? And what is satisfying about prayer? If I were to take an anonymous poll right now, and ask you, anonymously of course, do you find prayer satisfying? 
What might be your answers? If I were to say to you, does coming to synagogue meet your needs for prayer? The answers would be varied, and I wouldn't be offended. But prayer is not easy. This we know for certain. But we have repentance, teshuva. We have tefillah, the ongoing work and discipline of prayer in Hebrew, in English, out loud, in silence, at home, in synagogue, in nature, at the grocery store, with our children, with our parents, with our significant others. How and when and for what reasons do we pray? And last, we talk about tzedakah, about righteous living and giving and how that can assist our realignment. And for this, I ask these questions, not anonymously, but out loud to you at this time. When I ask you how you might describe the word sadaka, how would you explain it to somebody who might not know the concept? What would you say is your understanding of the word sadaka? Charity. Say again. Community service? Righteous acts. Righteous acts. <clears throat> Give me some for instances. What, please. Giving to others. Giving to others in what kind of form? Well, it could be listening to someone who needs to talk and giving them the time. Right. Can you hear at the back? It could be listening, active listening, actively listening to someone who's needing the kindness of companionship. Yes, what else? How else might you describe tzedakah or give examples of tzedakah? We usually, right, uh, most of us who grew up hearing the word tzedakah, we knew it meant putting a coin in the charity box, right? right. Put another penny in, right, into the tzedakah bin. That's the only time you'll hear me sing on the bima, by the way, right? That's it, right, that we used to put a penny into the tzedakah bin, right? I, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I grew up with the JNF blue boxes, and they, right, and we used to just put our spare change in that. And I went back to my parents' house, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, and in each of our rooms, my brothers and I, right, there were those tzedakah bins still with all of our pennies, right? But what do we do, right? We, we give money. That's an important piece. What else, what else would you describe as tzedakah? This is what we are told is one of the key components of making for meaningful realignment before the high holy days. Yeah, giving whatever is needed, you said from the heart? Yeah. Right, so social, uh, yeah, please. Uh, standing up for others. Yeah, standing up, standing forward for other people, standing alongside of other people in need. Yes? Making an opportunity for someone. Making an opportunity. Making space, giving an opportunity for someone else to shine. Beautiful. Right, right, making the space to allow somebody else to rise, literally, figuratively, metaphorically, right, but to, to move up, to, to, to stand up more fully. Please. Putting others before yourself. Yes, putting others before yourself. Responsibility. Yes, yes, beautiful. Stopping and halting. Tell us a little bit more. Um, we have to interrupt uh, flow of things in order to give something new. You have to stop the flow of things in order to give something new. Is that yes? Could you all hear that at the back? You have to be able to, to, to care for yourself in order to give. This is the purpose of my discussion tonight, right? This is, this is why I bring it to you. These are the days, Elul, where we are meant both to do some self-care and introspection ahead of the High Holy Days so that we don't just come in cold and say, okay, here I am, right? Sign me in the Book of Life, seal me in the Book of Life, but that we have done the work ahead of time the self-care to allow us to more fully be a part of the community, right? This is exactly what these 
40 days of Elul, right? We have a month of Elul and then 10 days before we come to the actual High Holy Days. It is considered the warm-up month. Right? Elul is considered our self-care month so that we can be more proactively a part of the community to do so many of the things that you just mentioned and discussed. So it is for us the possibility of renewal and encouraging us to realign ourselves so that we can live in better balance, clarify our values, and live in accordance with them come to know God better, see more clearly what needs repair, and to pursue justice for all, not some, but for all, so that we can know with certainty that in doing the work to realign ourselves, like realigning our cars, that we ensure safer travels while we go the distance. So in the last passage that I read this week, it stated the solar eclipse earlier this week offers us hope, in fact, for its darkness was never absolute. Around its edge, for those who saw the edges, we saw a corona that looked like a wreath in the midst of the daytime darkness that some in some other places in the country, but that some of us saw as well, a daylight darkness that was so interesting and compelling. We were simultaneously reminded of the power and the beauty of light and that we cannot allow darkness to overtake us. So during these days of Elul, let us commit to acts of teshuva, of repentance, to tefillah, to prayer, and to tzedakah, to righteous living and the pursuit of justice, as you just described. May we use these days of Elul to bring our heads, our hearts, and our nishamot, our souls, into alignment so that we can meaningfully go the distance, and let us be reminded of the light that exists even when daytime darkness appears. And let us join together in saying, Amen. Page 586, as we all of us as are able, rise for the Elenu. Elenu <laughs> now to think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. During the period of Shloshim, these last 30 days, we are remembering Eileen Wolf, mother of Alan Wolf, Mort Fox, brother-in-law of Linda Beckwith, 
and Melly Nathan, mother of Lorraine Donner, Donaher. This week marks a yard site and anniversary of passing for Joan R. Berger, Ethel Burns, Helen Chernick, Dorothea Deutscher, James DiGiovanni, Di John Drazel, Louis Eckstein, Erwin Gilbert, Morris Goodman, Leah Grinberg, Earl Groden, Maggie Herman, David Klein, Myron Land, Albert Lenro, Alexander Levine, Seal Loeb, Arthur Mass, Sadie Margolis, Yosef Morochnik, Tom, Tom Paganelli, Richard Raz, Paula Schrager, Janet Skolnick, Alcee Taub, and Katie Yellen. If there are names that you would add to either list or names better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your name, please look your way, please share that name aloud. May their memories all be for a blessing as we all of us join together on page 598 with words of mourners Kaddish. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shme Rabah, Bealma Divra Hirute, Biam Lich Mahute, Bechaye Hon of Yomechon, Uvchaye de Hol Beit Israel, Bagala Uizman Kari Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabah Mivarach Leolam Ome Omaya, Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Ramam Vit Nase. Vita dar vita le vita lal shme de kudisha brehu. Leila minko birchata vishirata. Tushbechata venechamata. Da amiran belma vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya. Vechaim alenu veil kol Israel vimru amen. O se shalom vimroma. Hu ya a se shalom. Alenu veil kol Israel. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all who are mourning, and to which we say, Amen. Please be seated. We have just a few announcements. We have um, bagels and Bible still tomorrow morning at the Pittsford Wegmans upstairs, if you would like to join everybody at nine, nine, at nine. Um, please be sure to, to join that group. They, you can come if you've never been. If this is the first time, please be sure. It's, it's I, I am told, wonderful studies as well. Um, Sunday, for those who are going to the Red Wings game, that starts at 1.30. I think those who have tickets know who you are, and that block, that proverbial ship has sailed. So if you don't have tickets, you can buy tickets at the box office and meet people there. But I think the group tickets have been purchased already. Next Friday night, there's an Arab Shabbat service at 6 p.m. Uh, we need volunteers still for the High Holy Days. We need some ushers. If you are able and willing, we would love you to help us out for, for one service, and you can let us know in the office. We want to hear from you. Please take a moment to go to the website and fill out the Mitzvah Connection survey. Help the Mitzvah Connection help our members. It's, you'll find it right on the homepage of, uh, of the temple um, homepage, and it, it's uh, right on the right-hand side there. Please, please take a moment, if you haven't yet, filled out that survey and, and do that. School resumes on September, Sunday, September 10th. If you haven't done so, please visit our website, get your sheets in. I see all of you are still needing to enroll in religious school. I'm looking at the audience, at the, at the, at the people who are sitting in the congregation. I see all of you still need to uh, register for, I think, somewhere between fifth and seventh grade, right? right? So if you have little people in your family somewhere, um, please be sure to, to register. Adult Ed will be starting again in the fall, too. We have, uh, just before the High Holy Days, we have a Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur prep class, just a, a recap of what it is and how it is and what we might consider uh, each of us, Rabbi Katz and I are each teaching one of those sessions before the respective holidays themselves. Uh, we want to thank our usher, where are you? I see you back there, Karen McCallie, just raise your hand. Thank you for greeting everybody tonight. If you have any questions, please be sure to, uh, to ask 
her, we want to thank Eva for joining us for, the, for this Shabbat service, a, a, a tempting and exciting start to the season of Elul and uh, whets everybody's appetite for the High Holy Days as I am very blessed to, to work with her for the holidays along with others in the congregation. Greg is here tonight as well. So thank you, Eva, for being with us tonight. Any other announcements, any celebrations, any achievements, any joys to share with us? Judy. Beautiful, Mazel Tov, 54th anniversary, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Please. Yes, sir, please. The men's club is coming out of its summer by age, and we'll be meeting on uh, Sunday, September 10th at 10 a.m. here. There'll be bagels, locks, cream cheese, herring, and rice and sugar. Excellent, excellent. Any other joys, any family joys, any new grandchildren I heard that there were? I think maybe they may have stepped out, but any other joys at all? Okay, come, come, yes, please. Excellent. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Our closing song this evening, after which we will do motzi, our closing song can be found on page 641, Ela Chemda Libi. 641, please join us. Ela Chemda Libi, Chusanava al Natitalem. Ela Chemda. Hamdali bi husanava ala titalem. Ela hamdali bi husanava ala titalem. Ela hamdali bi husanava ala titalem. Ela Hamda, Hamda Libi, Husanava, Allah Titalem. The most daunting part of every service is getting this tray out here carefully without the whole table collapsing with us. It is an act of faith. Very scary. I'm always glad when it works. <laughs> So please join us. We give thanks for that which nourishes us, that which sustains us. Please join me in Motsi. Please be sure to join us in the social hall for an oneg some sweets and some coffee and some friendship right after services, but just before that, please, I invite you to rise for our closing benediction. Adonai, O Zleamo Yitain, Adonai, grant us strength enough to endeavor the work of exploration, repair, and realignment. Adonai, Yivarech et Amo Shalom. Adonai, bless us with memory and peace of mind to know that even when daytime darkness appears, that light also remains. And let us say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. I know the problem.